grown in Three Oaks, Michigan. The Acorn is a performance hall that is locally run by a uh, performing arts enthusiast, Executive Director Sandra Thompson, who is here with me today. Hi, I love the Acorn like you don't know. Yeah. I mean, it is, every time I come to the New Buffalo area, uh, I just love the all the opportunities that you have right there in that little burg. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the Acorn, the, the history of it. I think that's yeah. so fascinating. Right, so in about 2003, um, the, the building is an old industrial building. You know what it looks like, it's really cool. 30 foot ceilings, mm. but turn of the century, the century before, um, they had, it was Featherbone Factory. And they made buggies and corset whips. But anyway, so David Fink and Kim Clark turned it into a theater. Naturally. Right. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> Look at this old dilapidated holes in the ceiling. This is great. Let's do it. Um, and then in 2015, we really needed more community support. It's Three Oaks. It, it, it's a wonderful place, but it's more resort. Sure. You know, we don't have, so we can't just a be open. town. Right. So in being essence. a nonprofit, now we can uh, ask the community for their support, which we depend on entirely. Sure. And we can have the volunteers, we can have grants. So five years into it, we're a nonprofit. It's our fifth year anniversary, actually, next month. Oh. We're doing great. Yeah. It's really exciting. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So some of the, what are some of the types of things that you bring to the to the stage at the Three Oaks? Well, I was thinking about that. So we've got like your bigger name stars that have, you know, so Jeff Daniels, yeah. Ed Asner's coming. He's doing this great, great theatrical one-man show. Um, and then we have names like Graham Nash, Crosby, Till, Nash & Young was there last year. Jeff Tweedy from Wilco, um, you know, Jefferson Starship. But then you've got these, younger up-and-coming bands that are super hot. Um, Larkin Poe was there last year. They're just skyrocketing. Miles Nielsen and the Rusted Hearts. He's the son of Rick Nielsen, Chip, Cheap Trick. Yeah. Uh, Way Down Wanderers, 20-somethings. They're incredible. I always so we I just, felt you know, like um, one of the things that you do so well is do, you do introduce us to people who are just on that cusp yeah. of becoming a big name or famous or however you want to say it. Yeah. Uh, so I felt like I've got to see some people who, w before they became su such a yeah. marketable name. Yeah, you get to is, see them first, right? Yeah, which is so that exciting. Segment, yeah. A unique um, opportunity, just the venue itself is so, like you said, it was an old factory. Yeah. Uh, that is so cool to be in the midst of that. Uh, and Three Oaks has a lot to offer Besides yeah. just that, there's the great restaurants, and uh, it, it's such a, like, I am often surprised at how long I stay in Three Oaks once I get there. That's true. Do you know what I mean? I'll come a little early, we'll go shopping yeah. at some yeah. of those great antique stores, uh, have a, a, some food, and then go to the show, and then afterwards, there's great things to do, yep. too. I mean, it's just a really we can a make hidden a, gem. Right, a whole day and evening of it. We've got Journeyman right next door. That's really cool. Right. Walk down Journeyman, have a drink, have some food. Right. It's, it's going to be a great, great evening. Celebrating, so. f celebrating five years. Yeah. Of course, now everything is kind of on hold. Yes. But we hope to revamp as soon as possible. Yes. So, what are some of the things you have coming up? Maybe like in around Mother's Day or, or early summer. Um. Let's let's see. We've got well, Judy Collins. That is an old name. That is, but a great name. And and we, in fact, that show sold out in three hours when we got it up wow. uh, live up to the public. So she's coming. May 15th. Um, so that's be su super good. Exciting. We're going to knock right. on wood. We're hoping that right. it'll be good for that. Yeah. Now tell me, you. one of the things I do love about it is the intimacy. So yes. how many people do you seat? I was hoping, yes, we have talked about that. So we can get, for a larger show, we can get 300 in. But we're all, it's got that cool thing where this, you're r surrounding the stage. Everybody's really kind close. Of, right. We call that a modified thrust in the theater. Modified right? thrust. So, right, yeah, you come right <laughs> out to us. So, yes, 300 seats means there's not a bad seat in the house. Right. And you really do get an intimate, up close and personal yes. um, experience. Okay. No, but that being said, you will be at least six to ten feet away from the performer, so you're all safe, right? <laughs> no yes, matter what, we're safe. And the, and the performers love it, too. That's another thing, that energy they get. So oh, I'm so and, glad. And the full bar, right? Well, you, you got a full you bar. you got to have that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that vodka counts as hand sanitizer, um, but I know that some people <laughs> I know have tried that recently. But thank you so much for being here. Thank and you, you know Craig. what? We want to have you back. As, as soon as we're back up and running, we want to hear what's going on in Three Oaks at the Acorn oh, Theater. Love to tell you. And oh, thank I you. love it. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> on your screen is all the information. Check it out and plan, uh, plan the future on their uh, Facebook. You can check out their schedule, Instagram, all of those great things, or email them.